Nothing's even in my way I can feel my bones starting to wake now I'm loving every part of them All right. Hello and welcome to a brand new weekly vlog This week I'm bringing you a week in the life of a Durham University student because I am one of those. So today I have two lectures, one on the novel and one on myth and epic of the North. Um, first lecture today is on Wide Sargasso Sea, so I'm going to head there now. I'm already running late. Did you leave your fears behind? I hope you did, cause you need to unwind. Okay, so I am back from my two lectures. I had one on novel and one on myth and epic of the north, which incidentally, I think is my favorite module. I wanted to vlog this week because I think it's going to be quite a fun one. Um, we've got quite a lot of work going on at the moment um, here in Durham, but um, on Friday we have the Feast of St. Cuthbert, which should be a really, really fun day. Um, and loads and loads of you have requested that I did a kind of realistic week in my life at Durham University So I thought that's what I'd do. I've got six essays due next week. Um, I've done two of them So that's uh, interesting and yeah extracurricular stuff. Um, we're starting a radio show uh, This week, so I thought I wanted to document that obviously um, I've started writing for the tab which is a student publication um, so I've got two articles to write for that um, and a film shoot that we're doing. But yeah, other, other than those things, I'm just doing like kind of lectures um, and tutorials. So each week I have um, six lectures and three tutorials. So yeah, it should be a pretty average week in my life. Um, so I thought I'd take you along with me. Also, um, realised just after ending that clip that I didn't introduce myself. Um, so my name is Jack Edwards. Uh, this is my YouTube channel. I am a 19 year old first year Durham University student and I'm studying English literature. I put the fun in fundamentally incapable. I hope you enjoy. In terms of reading for the week, because people always ask me, how much do you read on an average week? So um, I've got Oedipus Rex to read this week. That one's quite short, so looking forward to that. Um, I'm just finishing off Heart of Darkness and uh, Aristotle's Poetics. Uh, Midnight's Children, that one is a hefty read, uh, working my way through that, not going overly well so far, as you can see. Um, and then I've got to read some elegies uh, from here, so there's a whole section on here in elegies, this is like a poetry anthology. And then I've also got some Old Norse poetry to read, but I did that already um, because I had my lecture on it uh, today. Uh, I obviously read Wide Sargasso Sea this weekend, so yeah, got quite a lot uh, <laughs> to get through. But now I'm going to head for some dinner, and then I think I'm going to go to the library because look, your boy got deadlines. Yep, <laughs> the camera was going out of focus, which uh, I think is symbolic of the fact that I am not focused on any of these things. Oh lord. Um, I'm going to go to the library and get hopefully one of my essays done tonight, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I've got all of these. And also people kept commenting on my videos being like, you need to put up your new deadlines, so look, I have. Thank you guys so much for uh, having my degree <laughs> in your hands, because it's definitely not in mine. Whoa, did you see that? One of my essay deadlines just fell off of the wall. If even my post-it notes are giving up, imagine how I feel. Good morning, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new, no, it's not a new life for me because I've got lectures and tutorials. <laughs> that was literally the worst transition ever, I'm so sorry. This morning I had cheese puffs for breakfast because I overslept, I had to go to my first tutorial uh, with like bed hair, it wasn't great but definitely not my worst date I've ever turned up in. One thing I thought I would quickly explain while I'm talking about it is the difference between lectures and tutorials. Basically a lecture is a big room with like 250 people with a lecturer standing at the front just talking at you um, and you just make notes and stuff like that and then a tutorial is a group with about eight of you um, with a tutorial leader who is an academic who um, leads a kind of discussion um, and so you actually contribute to a tutorial 
or at least try to. Um, also, there are two types of essays that we do here at Durham, which are formatives and summatives. So a formative um, essay doesn't count towards your overall grade, it's just kind of practice um, thing, and that's set by your tutor. Um, and you have like an essay feedback session with them afterwards and a summative is a an essay that counts towards your overall degree. Hello MTV and welcome to any student kitchen sink ever. <laughs> So as you may be able to tell from the fact that I do an English degree or from this uh, bookcase that I've got going on behind me, I quite like reading. And so when Hodder emailed me asking if they could send me a new book that they're publishing, I was like, absolutely. And I've got it here, it's just arrived and I'm very, very excited. Okay, so this is the package. So this is the new Chris Ryan book, uh, Global Strike. So Charles Street was once a highly respected agent working for MI6 until a terrible mistake cost him his job. Now he's a desperate man, aren't we all? <laughs> Living on past glories and struggling to make ends meet. Until he makes a discovery that has the power to bring down the new president of the United States. Um, are you sure this has to be fictional? Strike back hero John Porter and John Bald are recruited by their handler to head to Washington DC. Oh, that's so cool. I literally, this time last year, I was in Washington DC. So this will be so nice to kind of reminisce because that was such a good time. I went with my best friends and it was the most fun ever. What begins as a routine exfiltration quickly descends into a brutal struggle and the ex-SAS legends will need to use all of their fighting instincts to stay alive. That sounds so cool. Um, this is definitely going on my reading list, um, on my reading pile. Uh, I'm actually going on holiday, I'm going out to Africa in the Easter break, so hopefully um, this will be a really good holiday read. So thank you so much Hodder, that's so kind of you and so generous, thank you. We are up to something a little bit exciting over here. Um, I'll explain in a bit, but look, look at all the things I'm currently in control of. Very, ab are you scared? <laughs> it is pretty scary. I'm terrified. <laughs> Yeah, so, me and Michael is today's track of the day. Um, OMFG, what is going on? Oh my god, that is bonkers. 20,000 people. That is madness. 20,000 subscribers. What? Thank you for watching these videos, thank you for subscribing, thank you for finding my little corner of the internet. I cannot even fathom 20,000 people. Um, it'd be really cool actually if you could comment down below your name and roughly where you're from. Like I don't need your exact address, like please don't put your exact address. Just put like the country or, or the city that you're from. That'd be really cool just to, to see. Um, and, and we can all chat in the comments and just have a jolly old time. But in the meantime, I think it's about time that I shared with you something very exciting that I've been working on and that is Drum roll, please. There's no one else here. My own radio show. What? So Will and I live here together at Cuts, um, which is my college here at Durham. Um, Will is from the north. I'm from the south. Um, and we are united, I'd say, by a mutual love for chips and gravy. And so we thought, hey, we chat absolute rubbish. Let's broadcast that to as many people as want to listen on the radio. And someone somewhere has been foolish enough to let us do it. So Purple Radio is the Durham University student radio station. Um, but you can stream it from any device, anywhere. Every Tuesday from six till seven, we will be doing a show called Chips and Gravy um, as of next term. So that will be the 20... 3rd maybe of April or the Tuesday of that week. We're just like best mates just chatting absolute rubbish on the radio and it's a lot of fun. So tune in if you'd like. Um, I'm really excited to, to get to do it. And yeah, I hope that you guys tune in. Um, but I'll remind you nearer the time. Um, Ella, what have we just done? <laughs> we just booked flights to Bangkok. <laughs> We just booked flights to Bangkok! We're going to Asia! So we are going to be travelling around Southeast Asia from August to September. Ah! A month. Um, a month oh. for me. Yeah, we just, we just booked our flights. Okay, so let me just quickly explain what on earth just happened because you are probably just as confused as I am right now. So because the academic year at Durham doesn't start until the 1st of October, this year I have an incredibly long summer and I really wanted to do something with it and see a bit more of the world. So 
um, Ella and I have booked flights to Bangkok um, and we're going to go and travel around Southeast Asia. So we're doing Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam, which I'm really, really excited about. I get to have the gap year I never had, um, which I'm quite excited about. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really, really cool trip. Um, such a good way to end the day. Um, yeah, really, really exciting. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello and happy Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday's part of the vlog. Today I have a pretty chill day, especially in comparison to yesterday because yesterday was just a bit silly really, wasn't it? Today I'm heading out on a shoot with the tab. We are interviewing the president of the Hummus Society. There are actually quite a lot of kind of wacky societies here in Durham. We've got um, obviously the Hummus Society. I think there's a Colin Firth Appreciation Society. Um, there's a Taylor Swift Society that was just set up. Um, so it's all going on. <laughs> you can find people who are interested in the same thing as you in any field imaginable. Also, last week there were people just playing Quidditch outside my house on the street, which was um, interesting. <laughs> but yeah, today I am filming for the interview that we're doing, and then I've got an essay feedback session. I have no lectures or uh, tutorials today, but I've got an essay feedback session, um, which is a 15 minute feedback session, and it's right at the top of the hill. So in Durham, basically, we have like the, the Bailey Colleges, which is where I live, and then there's the Hill Colleges. And up by the Hill Colleges is a place called Cardiac Hill, which is called Cardiac Hill because it's so steep, it actually has like a, a banister going up the, uh, like a railing going up the hill so that you don't fall. Um, so I've got to go up there today for my essay feedback session, which is a bit of a pain, but um, it'll be fine. So I'm going to head off and shoot. I'll check in with you at some point later today. Okay, so some time has passed. Filming went really, really well. Um, essay feedback session went. If you've been watching the vlogs recently, you'll know that there's been lots of building work going on outside of my house, and uh, the building work is now done, but in its place is um, this tarmac, which goes right down the cobbled streets. It looks horrendous. Um, Emma, when's your uh, essay due? 24 hours. <laughs> Some time has passed and I've spent my afternoon actually writing up a blog post in collaboration with Drinkware who I've been doing a month long challenge with to track how much I drink. So if you didn't know, Drinkware is basically an independent charity who work to prevent alcohol misuse and help people make better choices around drinking. They've got a really cool website which gives you loads and loads of information. Um, oh, they've got an app. Oh, that's cool. Does it stress anyone else out how many tabs I have open? That is infuriating, I'm so sorry. This is literally what writing an essay at university looks like. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's beside the point. They sent me this uh, little cup, which has been really handy, um, to track how many units I am consuming in an average week. Um, so the recommended amount for men and women in the UK is 14 units. And the thing about drinkware is that they're not saying don't drink. They're saying drink responsibly, um, consider your choices around alcohol, um, and be safe. Um, and I think that's a really good message. So this month, for the first time ever, I've actually started to track how much I consume, and it surprised me um, a lot. So yeah, I'll leave the link to the blog post down below, which should be up by the time this video goes up, because you know how long it takes me to edit these videos. It takes me so long to edit the vlog. My plan for the rest of the day is just to go to the library. I've got this essay that's just like weighing down on my shoulders and I'm like, I need to get it done. So, um, the library is now open 24 seven. So I'm going to do the late shift in the library tonight and try and get that sorted. Um, my mum actually bought me some mini eggs. Um, so I'm going to take those with me. They're going to get me through. I hope. It is 2 a.m. I have exhausted my supply of mini eggs. Um, I've got 700 words left to go of the essay and it's time to go home. I'm giving up. Mama raised a quitter. Ciao, adios, I'm done. So yeah, I'm walking home. It's absolutely freezing. Um, I'm walking past all of the people coming back from nightclubs and I'm feeling very jealous that they've been at a nightclub and I've been in the library. <sighs> okay, now is really not the time for my keys to get stuck. There we go. Literally, who brings their own avocado to breakfast? <laughs> This is the most Durham thing I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so today is Thursday and I have not filmed a single thing aside from breakfast. And one thing that I really wanted to include in this vlog was kind of an honest review of my experience at Durham and Durham as a university. 
So I thought I'd do that now, if that's okay with you. It is a well-documented fact on this YouTube channel that Durham was not my first choice university when I first started applying. In fact, I'd never even heard of it before I started looking at universities. However, being rejected by Oxford and coming here I think was possibly one of the best things that ever happened to me, which definitely sounds like something an Oxford reject would say. Durham as a city is beautiful, it's such a nice place, and you really get to live right in the centre, which is quite unusual for a university city. Quite often uh, you expect to be living right in the centre, but you really live quite far away and never get to see the city, whereas I walk through the city centre, I walk past the cathedral, every single day and that's incredible. As a university it is world class statistically speaking but also from my own experience um, the lecturers are incredible, um, it's such a privilege to get to be taught by the best uh, in, in my field. Um, it's been intense, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really really hard work but I didn't come here for an easy ride and that's what I wanted and everyone here cares so much about their subjects so you're in the best learning environment you could possibly ever be in. On the social side of things, um, I heard that Durham, before I came here, had a nickname of being Dullum, um, and it's just not the, not the case at all. The collegiate system that we have here means that you're kind of divided up into your college, so I'm in St Cuthbert Society, um, and it's such a nice way of getting to meet so many new people. Um, I see the same people every day for meals um, in my first year, which is really nice. If you're into sports, then sports is huge here. I think we're the top ranked team sports university in the UK, which is great. I mean, I don't do any of them, but I'm sure that's good too. Also, we have loads and loads of really fun traditions. Um, obviously having formals every other week. Um, we have the balls, we have the fashion shows. There's always events going on. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice place to be. You can never be bored here. This is a really great university. I love it. I've never had any problems with it here. Um, I, yeah, I would recommend it to anyone and I really think it's worth coming here. So that's my review. <laughs> I'm sorry if you thought I was gonna like spill the tea. This is a spillage free zone. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here at my desk. It's like uh, half past 12 at night. Look at the email that I just got. So the email that I got says, hey Jack Edwards, we know keeping a secret is hard, but we'll need you to keep this one under wraps for now. Okay, here's the super secret secret. You've been chosen as a YouTube creator on the rise. What the hell? Oh my god, what? Someone high up at YouTube has been sitting at their desk and they've stumbled across this little channel, they've stumbled upon my little corner of the internet, they've stumbled upon all of you guys and me and what is going on? I'm too excited to go to sleep, um, I was going to do some work and I was like, oh, I'll just watch a YouTube video and then go to bed. Um, and pick it up in the morning, but now I could, I, I could run a marathon right now, I'm buzzing. Hello, today is the day. I am creator on the rise, just have a look at this. So here is the YouTube trending page, and then, look, <laughs> it's a little of me with the creator on the rise badge next to my name, what? So this is on every UK YouTube account today for 24 hours. Oh my god. Okay, so these are my remaining essay deadlines. Do you see my problem here? Um, <laughs> okay, interesting. Very speedy update because I've got a lot to do today. Um, I'm going to try and finish an essay right now and then later today we have the Feast of St Cuthbert which is an annual tradition here at my college which is St Cuthbert Society um, where it's basically a massive formal um, dinner, so everyone uh, dresses up in black tie. Um, we have a big three-course meal and then a party at the end, so looking forward to that, but I've got to earn it and do this essay first. Cue musical montage. Today has been a bit of a crazy day. Um, the whole creator on the rise thing has just been mad. Um, and I wanted to celebrate it. I wanted to do something to kind of remind myself of this day. Um, and so I was like looking online, at, like me, I thought, oh, maybe I'll buy myself something, like I'll like, treat myself to something. And then I stumbled on Facebook upon this thing. Basically, the Durham Charity Committee is called Duck. So Durham University Charity Committee. Every year they do an annual duck race where they put 10,000 ducks into the river weir, um, like rubber ducks. They pour them all into the river and then they have a race. And so basically you can sponsor a duck. Um, so what I'm gonna do is buy 20 of them. Um, and that is how I'm going to celebrate 
being creator on the rise and um, put that money towards charity because I thought that would be a nicer way to celebrate. I'm just adding <laughs> 20 ducks and you know what? Let's make it 25 ducks. <laughs> hey! With all the excitement of today, I completely forgot that tonight is the Feast of St Cuthbert. So, um, as you can see, I'm not currently in black tie and the event starts in five minutes. So, that's fine because it only takes a second. That never gets old. Now, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but that is definitely a burger van for tonight. I'm buzzing. Okay. Time for the feast. <laughs> Beth is gluten free and dairy free and she's got proper food. Are you buzzing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's chuffed. Hey guys! Hey girlfriend! Hey guys! So today we're in my blood. A feast. We're currently a cup of feast. We've had dinner. Oh no! Oh no! Hello, good morning. Today is Saturday. Um, last night the feast was so much fun and um, we had a really good night. Um, they had a uh, like, photo booth going on, they ended the night with a silent disco, um, it was all just a really good time. However, um, I made a severe blunder and um, basically I'm part of the Cuts Running Club um, and I saw Rishi, uh, my friend Rishi, who's in charge of the Cuts Running Club and uh, he was like, I bet you won't make it to Park Run in the morning and I, obviously, I bet him that I would and as a man who is true to my word, is currently 8.30 a.m. I'm going to make it to part run for nine. And I think Will's gonna come too. I could probably carry a whole weekly shop in the bags under my eyes. <sighs> a serious error of judgment has been made. <laughs> okay, so I think that the last shot that you will have seen was park run which was yesterday. I hardly filmed anything yesterday because honestly the day just went at 100 miles per hour so there was no time to actually sit down and explain what was going on. So um, finished park run, then I went to Newcastle, I got the train to Newcastle um, because Durham is basically like 10-15 minutes away from Newcastle and BBC3 were actually hosting an event, a kind of workshop um, and if you've been watching this channel you'll know that I have been working really closely with BBC3 um, and doing some presenting for them and that kind of thing which is so much fun so I finally got to go and meet the team. This morning I've got up early and I'm going to go to the library to uh, continue working on my essays and do some reading. I've got a novel essay to do which is on Wide Sargasso Sea and Heart of Darkness. I'm going to try and do that now or at least plan it and do all the reading. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I know that study with me is a thing on YouTube, so I thought I'd do a kind of study with me. Cue musical montage study with me time lapse thing. Relatable. Oh, thank God for that. Freedom. So I'm back from the library. So our plan for tonight, basically, it's my friend Patrick's birthday today. So we wanted to do something a little bit different. And so tonight we're going to this club and we thought it'd be quite funny to do a kind of forfeit poll. All of the forfeits are going to be things that you have to wear to the club. So everyone is going to get an outfit. So uh, we're going to go into town now and uh, try and find the most ridiculous, horrendously ugly, cheapest things we can possibly find. The plan for this evening is to, uh, to, to dress up, make absolute fools out of ourselves, and, uh, and, and yes, pretty much standard routine. We're also going to Europe's worst nightclub um, tonight, which I'm very excited about. Yes, Durham is home to Europe's worst nightclub, so that should be fun, but for now, We've got to go and find Paddy a birthday present. Can you believe it's St. Patrick's Day so we can get Paddy a mug that says, who's your Paddy? I'm buzzing with this. Okay. 
So we've got our four fits. We've got a cow costume, pizza costume, lovely granny PJs, a wand and tiara, more pajamas, um, a little nighty thing going on over here, uh, sailor's hat, and for two people, handcuffs. Sorted. Oh, hello there. <laughs> okay, so we've played. Forfeit Tong. Forfeit. I'm dressed as a pizza. Ow. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want a pizza. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.